Sometimes put her work up on the wall. Uh, yeah, this is her latest offering up here. She's pretty advanced. <laughs> the idea behind Monty's chocolates is to bring some of the finest chocolate from around the globe under one roof in a shop here in Paddington. This chocolate here is from Madagascar. Then we move on to France. Then we take a hop across to Germany. And then over on this side of the room, you'll find this particular chocolate in Mayfair or this chocolate in Belgravia. Alternatively, you could just come to Paddington. La Trobe Terrace is a quite a gorgeous little hub. It's almost villagey, but we're all very, very believe in what we do and very passionate about what we do. And I really love Australian products. I travel a lot, um, but I still keep coming back to what's actually happening in, in Australia. It's quite amazing. And every, you think you go to New York and you think, oh wow, it's amazing, it's fantastic, but what's happening here in Australia is mind-blowing. It's fantastic, it's so good. You know, the, the, about 80% of what's in this shop is artisans' work and it's all Australian. That's the whole idea of why people come here. They love strip shopping. Strip shopping is a rarity and you don't get that very often now. So this is wonderful to see, you know, a, this, a nice strip where you can start from the top and go all the way down. Style Magazine is celebrating February as the month of love. It's bursting with features for weddings, how-tos and singles cooking classes and includes the love story of Seven's own Kimberly Busteed. All in a swinging 60s vibe. Style February is bigger, brighter and better than ever. Delivered free to 60,000 local hotspots in Brisbane and it's available online. An open fire with a pig on the spit isn't something that you'll see in most restaurants, but one of the newest additions to Eagle Street Pier likes to do things a little differently. I'll be meeting the Brisbane boy turned celebrity chef behind Pony after the break. Join Australia's biggest community participation event and lend a hand to Clean Up Australia Day on the 3rd of March. There are clean up sites all over the Great South East, which means plenty of opportunities to show support. It is a beautiful place to live, so why don't we all help to keep it that way? What do you get when you mix million dollar views and culinary delights served up by some of Australia's best chefs? You get a dining experience like no other. The only problem is that here at Eagle Street Pier, your taste buds are spoilt for choice. And with some new additions to the precinct, that choice isn't getting any easier. Case in point, Pony. It offers modern Australian cuisine and impresses with its open plan kitchen, wood fire grill and open coal pit. So what we do is lots of small plates where you can have little, sort of about 16 different small plates. We can have little tastes that you can choose some oysters or you can have some buffalo mozzarella or some cured salmon or grilled chorizo or something along those lines. If we're doing a pig or a lamb every day, we do chickens on the coal pit so you can have a big bowl of the freshly roasted meat but that cooks for about six to eight hours so that won't be ready for lunch. Um, up the far end we've got the pasta cooker so we all do, do a lot of our own homemade pasta and we're cooking all that to order and then we're doing lots of seafood in that as well so it's a good variety of food that's just very relaxed approach, nice fresh flavours and honest. Damien is an award-winning, internationally trained celebrity chef who's returned home to open his dream restaurant. When I lived here, I lived in St Lucia and I used to ride my bike along the river all the time, so I'm a little bit keen on the river in Brisbane, I love it, so I'm so happy to have a restaurant right here on the river, it's a beautiful location. At the moment, what's your favourite dish on your menu? Oh, you can't do that to yes, me. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually got a... Um... Oh, a, a 300 day grain fed rump steak which is dry aged for four weeks and honestly I just love a good steak and that one cooked over the wood fire I just I think it's fantastic. Pony is open seven days for lunch from 12 till 4, dinner from 5.30 and the bar is open till late. 
Matt Moran is another celebrity chef who knows a thing or two about the local dining scene. Just up the river, Aria is one of the city's top restaurants. And now he's opened his latest venture with Peter Sullivan. Well, you already had a taste of this precinct with the success up the road at Aria. Yeah. What is it about being at this Eagle Street Pier area? Oh, look, you know, we came here uh, a little over three years ago and it was all about, um, you know, being part of Brisbane because the, the food culture here and the bar culture and the, you know, even the breakfast culture is, is getting bigger and bigger. And, you know, we didn't want to come here and dominate, we just wanted to come here and be part of it. And with the success of that, we just thought, you know, why not just do the next one? Matt likens the waterfront setting to the iconic opera bar at the Sydney Opera House. What the two venues also have in common is the popular concept of shared plate dining. So what's on the menu? Look, you know, it, it is simple food. You know, you can start with little sliders. Uh, look, there's lots of, um, you know, what do we call it, chick friendly, do we? You know, lots of salads and, and raw fish yeah. and, and, you know, just light, simple food. It, it's still based on all that, you know, beautiful produce, but just done really, really simply. Yeah, and there's a steak for the guys and a burger if they want. So there's a little bit of everything really. Yeah, there's homemade pizzas and you know, great wines by the glass and it's all very affordable. I mean, it's, it's meant to be a place that you can come back to and you know, have a good time and not burn a huge hole in your pocket. The River Bar and Kitchen is open every day and serves breakfasts and coffees as well as lunch and dinner. There's no booking policy because there's plenty of space, enough seating for 400 people. Just a short walk away is Bistro 111, which was opened last year by well-known chef Philip Johnson. So everybody knows you, obviously, from the wonderfully successful restaurant that you already have as Echo. What's the difference between that experience and this one? I think they're very different environments. Um, Echo being there 17 years had a lot, a lot of sort of history and, and that sort of stuff. But I guess the ethos of the food still, is still the same as that we know we're using seasonal produce, fresh produce, and not doing a lot with it. I think the difference in this business is the way the menu is sort of constructed. It's sort of broken into different sections like bites and more than the bites and charcuterie and oysters. So there's many things in the starters that you could mix and match and then you can choose a main or you can share a main. So it's really, although it's not all about sharing, there's a lot of flexibility. The restaurant sits on the ground floor of Brisbane's tallest office tower. Philip likes to make the point that whilst there's no shortage of inner city professionals that enjoy coming in, it's not exclusive. This is a dining experience that appeals to everyone. We had some travellers in recently which they'd been, you know, doing their around the world sort of stuff and they said, oh, this is the best food we've eaten on our, on our trip. And they had done New York and so that's, I don't, you know, you're only as good as your last meal, but it is a lovely compliment when people say, look, we've eaten everywhere and this is right there. Bistro 111 also serves local and craft beers, as well as cocktails at its full service bar. They're open Monday to Saturday for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Now, if you're after some more ideas of where to go and what to do in our neck of the woods, I suggest you head over to the Queensland Holidays and Queensland Rail Travel websites. They're great starting points. Whether it's breakfast, lunch or dinner, Australia's finest chefs and restaurateurs are here. They're ready to serve it up and they're hoping to impress. If this is anything to go by and what I've seen today, you won't be disappointed. Well, that's all we have time for. I do look forward to seeing you again, though, somewhere else in the Great South East. The Great South East works hand in hand with Tourism and Events Queensland and with Queensland Rail. The Motorama Group keeps us moving. You can stay in touch with us via Facebook or our website.